Many of you made getting healthy part of your New Year's resolution. We're now one full week into the new year, and how are you doing with your goals? Kansas City Holistic Nutritionist Amy Roberts says the best approach to getting healthy is a lifestyle change. Today, she shows us some foods we should and should not have in our homes and the top ingredients we should avoid. When people are looking to get rid of the bad foods, what are the things that they should be looking for? Um, there's a list of top 10 ingredients to avoid, but the key ones you really want to avoid, anything artificial. So artificial flavors, artificial colors, um, artificial sweeteners. This is in the work then yep. machine, you need a little pick-me-up. It's pick a go-to at 3 o'clock. So what would be a better choice? Um, a better choice would be something called Zevia. It's a natural soda. It's made with stevia, which is um, actually a plant found in South America. And and uh, it doesn't raise your blood glucose levels. It acts kind of like a fiber in your body. It's not absorbed. Um, and it's, it's a much better alternative um, to something like this or even Diet Coke, which is even worse, or Diet Sodas, because they have the, the artificial sweeteners in them. What is the real problem with the artificial sweeteners? Because I know I put one in my coffee every sure, morning. <laughs> sure, sure. Um, they've been linked to, saccharin actually has been linked to cancer. Studies have shown and proven that it causes cancer. Um, other things like aspartame have been uh, linked to MS or to MS and other neurological problems. The biggest thing, especially in all of these items right here, are artificial colors um, and artificial flavors. And the problem with artificial flavors is that you can have 30 chemicals listed under artificial vanilla, you know, flavor. So really, you could be consuming way um, more in terms of preservatives than actually what's listed on the box. It's a little deceiving. So now we're going to head over to the refrigerator, and this is probably really scary for a lot of people. <laughs> So looking inside, let's focus on the positive. What are some, yes. some good things that we see inside this fridge? Some great things right off the bat. Um, Brussels sprouts, a wonderful green, a uh, wonderful veggie. Uh, Greek yogurt is a great yogurt. It actually is higher in protein and lower in sugar than um, your other standard just cow's milk yogurt. Do you say there's a better option than table salt? Absolutely. Sea salt is your best option um, because it actually has all of the minerals that your body needs in the exact proportion it needs them. Well, Amy, you had some really great suggestions for us. Thank you. I know you didn't want to overwhelm us, so yes. we're going to put the top <laughs> 10 ingredients to avoid on our website. Just go to NBCActionNews.com.